Tonight, Deputy Premier Jackie Trad reflects on her difficult year. A well-known Queensland snake catcher hospitalised with an eastern brown snake bite. Why coral reefs on the other side of the world are thriving. And the Sunshine Coast-based Winter Olympics hopeful using a headset to train. Good evening, Louisa Rebgetz with ABC News. Queensland Deputy Premier Jackie Trad says her torturous year in politics has been kept in perspective by having to deal with family deaths, including of her baby niece. Ms Trad spoke to the ABC about fighting for her political life while making the government's last major announcement of 2019, launching one of Australia's biggest climate change funds. Josh Robertson has this exclusive report. Jackie Trad leads the Palaszczuk government's most powerful faction, but she spent most of 2019 in damage control. This has been a difficult year. A coal-fired battering for Labor in Queensland and a mishandled property investment that had the Deputy Premier in hot water. But, you know, I've also had to deal with other really big things, like the death of a parent, uh, like the death of a baby niece. She's closed out the year as acting Premier, making the government's last big call on a half a billion dollar carbon farming scheme. One of the biggest environmental funds that this state has ever seen and in fact one of the biggest right around the nation. The uh, Land Restoration Fund represents a tectonic sh um, shift uh, in the economy and of course in our environmental landscape. The government says it'll help farmers and traditional owners get a piece of what could be an $8 billion industry by 2030. The international market for carbon uh, has grown profoundly in the last two decades and we are seeing unprecedented interest in Australian carbon markets. It's a move on climate change in a summer of bushfires that have put a Prime Minister under pressure. We see the community well ahead of the Morrison government on this issue. Despite criticism of Labor from both sides of politics, including over its crackdown on environmental protesters, Ms Trad insists it's the party of reform. We have to sell a much harder message than the simple three-line messages that people like Clive Palmer and Scott Morrison went out there every day talking up. Some damage is self-inflicted. Miss Trad was stripped of responsibility for the Cross River Rail project after she was late declaring a property that could have benefited. I have admitted to my mistakes, I have apologised, I've been scrutinised by the Triple C in a very intense seven week long assessment and they found there was no dishonesty. <laughs> Ms Trad laughs off speculation she'll parachute out of a seat she risks losing to the Greens at the polls next year. I will be running in South Brisbane, yes. Do you worry you might not win? Oh, every election I've worried I might not win. I've never taken my seat for granted and anyone who does is a fool. The Deputy Premier will also have to rebuild her standing with colleagues, some of whom worry she's an electoral liability. If people want to go around and gossip and trade in political snippets, then so be it. I'm focused on the bigger, more important things. Josh Robertson, ABC News, Brisbane.